What's up, everybody? I'm back. It's your boy Rome 300. Welcome to my page. He smells like Rome. Thank you, guys, for joining me. I got a treat. It's not fragrance. Well, it's fragrance, but it's not a review. It's the first impressions. It's sample time, baby. So, what we're going to do, we're going to check out some samples. Um, I actually got samples from a company called uh, Electimus. And they had a soft launch in Europe. They were supposed to be coming out in here in the United States, but unfortunately that didn't happen because of uh, circumstances between Henry Bendel and their contract. Um, so I reached out to them roughly around the beginning of the year, trying to figure out when the fragrance would come here. And they told me once they establish, you know, where they're gonna have the fragrances at, they'll send me samples. So. Uh, a few months passed, let's say a little longer, a few months, maybe about like eight months passed, and I reached out to them again because I had heard a rumor that they, they you know, were putting their fragrances out there. And um, I asked them to send me some. So here we go. I think I'm the actually first person the to review this fragrance, or first impressions, I guess. So I'm excited about this. I got about six samples here, so I'm just going to go through them, tell you which ones I like, which ones not so much. And I'm going to be honest, man, there are a few here that will surprise you. So let's start off, and to even start this off like I do my, all my videos, if I screw the name up, I'm sorry. That's just, it's just some hard ass names. These names just come out of the, like superhero names and shit, so it's crazy. I feel like I'm back in the uh, medieval times with some of these names. But let's start with the first one. No particular order. I'm not going with the best or the worst. Just letting you know. Okay. Um, all right. We have here. Bam. So if you can see that. I think it's called Rod Rodanthe. Rodanthe, I think that's how you say it. Once again, I'll put the name up there. This is a, uh, beautiful, well-blended rose fragrance. Mm. Definitely top five rose fragrance I've actually smelled in a long time. Um, not a floral bomb where it's just all rose in your face no it's very very well blended with the other notes that are in there um there's oud um patchouli and i think there's two different types of roses in this fragrance which um give it that i guess that that extra elegance that you you look for when you you know wear rose fragrance to be honest with you i didn't like rose last year you couldn't get me to even you know, wear roses last year because I just associated with females. But um, thanks to watching reviews on here and uh, my man uh, Sebastian and also Renee, um, their uh, reviews on their fragrances that they purchased, I just ventured out there and started smelling and then I eventually started buying some rose fragrances. So this one is a, a definite buy for me. Gotta get this one. Very good rose fragrance. If you like, and it, I'm not saying that it smells like that, but if you, if you like the the uh, by Killian Oud Rose, you'll like this one. Um, I'm only gonna read the notes for the, a few of them, not all of them. This one has uh, in the top notes, bergamot, uh, coriander, violet, fresh lemon, raspberry. Heart notes, uh, Bulgarian Rose, lily, saffron, jasmine, orange blossom, and tuberose. And the base notes, patchouli, amber, vanilla, Musk, Gaiac Wood, and Oud. Like I said, I think it's probably why I associated with the Oud Rose from there because um, with their fragrance, the Oud is very in your face and the rose is very sweet. This one has a, a sweet rose. Um, I don't know which one of the roses is sweet. The Oud isn't very, isn't there until probably the dry down in this fragrance. But um, uh, 
like I said, very well blended fragrance because you can kind of sense all the 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 notes that they wanted you to smell one after another and then they kind of um, meet together right at the right point. So gotta check that one out. Ro Rodanthia or Rodanthe. Next one is another fragrance that I'm very fond of. I immediately fell in love with this one called Venti, I think that's how you say it. Sorry if this is not focusing. Venti, once again I'll write the name. Venti is um, a spring fall fragrance. You can wear it in, in the summer. It's it's um it's a sweet milky slight aquatic feel to it. It's um I say it's it's for the spring and you spring summer early fall because it's it's still relatively warm at that time and this fragrance just gives me that that sweet fruity vibe and then this kind of this silk milkiness that comes in there and um just gives me just this this uplifting feeling i don't know every time i smell this i just immediately feel happy um somebody has to understand that i don't know why but it does it just immediately makes me feel happy and this is I have to get this one. This one um, notes are marine notes, mandarin, peach, cinnamon, and the top notes. Heart is jasmine, orange blossom, geranium. Base notes is patchouli, myrrh, vanilla, ambergris, and benzoin. I think that that's where I get the, the milkiness from is from the vanilla, patchouli, and uh, myrrh, and you know that that aquatic also probably from the marine notes in the mandarin so yeah this is a this is a buy Betty um, let's go through this next one this is um, to kind of let you know they have two different lines coming out it's the same line but they have two different products they have one that's pure perfume and then they have an extract perfume the extract perfume is gonna be 30 mils and it comes in this beautiful egg shaped coffin that's it's kind of it's like brass or some type of metal and um, it sits in that but that also sits in there like this wooden coffin which is kind of cool it looks like a, like a wardrobe a mini wardrobe so if you open that then you open the egg your fragrance sits in that so that one comes in 30 mil and the pure perfume comes in uh, 50 mil so this one is called Amber Aquilera. I think that's Amber Aquilera. Um, love at first sniff. Very, very warm fragrance. Very spicy. I, I can say more warm than spicy, but um, very inviting. This just immediately reminds me of some type of you know cabin in the winter and I'm just sitting chilling and hanging out um, with my friends drinking some type of maybe wine or, or, or you know maybe like Cavassier or something um, very nice fragrance very elegant but uh, the spice and the warmness and the slight you know syrupy feeling I think I get from the amber blows me away gotta buy this one gotta buy it um, I don't know actually which one I want to buy first but this one is definitely a buy and I mean it, it also treats you to have that you know that coffin that it sits in too pretty cool having an extract perfume I think that those are the ones that you know since it's 30 mils you know it's gonna be strong I'll put this on me two dabs on my one on my wrist one on my neck on each side 12 plus hours easily and I didn't this is not a sprayer this is just you know dabber so imagine spraying a full you know good whiff on your neck and on your arms man it's crazy Amber Aquilera that's a good one all right next one is up it's called Platinum Muscus Platinum Muscus um, 
I hope I'm saying that right. Very nice fragrance. Not for me. This is more of a floral fragrance. Um, it's it has to be like a white musk because it's not very animalic or or it doesn't have a a funk to it to me. It is it's kind of a cleaner musk if um, that makes sense. But it just reminds me of a female, and I just can't wear this. And I think that's smart of them. I think that that's smart to kind of put this whole line in different categories to direct some towards women, some towards men, and some unisex. And I just have the whole thing one unisex smell because then, I mean, it's not exciting. It's not different. So, yeah, this, with ladies, if you're watching my channel, this one you should definitely check out. Platinum Muscus. Very nice fragrance. But just more on the feminine side. All right, next up is called, um, I don't know. I, I'm going to put the name of it. Antichus. That is it's crazy. See, I'm talking about these superhero names. It's crazy. Antichus has arrived. Please lower the bridge. I don't, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, this one... Man, uh, one of the best leathers I've ever smelled. Very masculine, very bold, in your face leather, immediately blast of leather. And, the, and then I read the notes earlier when I, before I put it on, the leather isn't until the dry down in, in the base notes. So I don't know how that worked, but this is this immediate in my face. It just reminds me of, it's, it sounds weird, but imagine have a, a one new pair of leather boots, just one of them on, and then have an old leather boot on. That's how the, the leather kind of clashes with um, kind of uh, a peppery, spicy vibe, and it just... It, it, it just reminds me of a tough guy, and I like that. I like having that kind of uh, uh, masculine, you know, warrior-type smell, you know, and, and this one does that. This one is, um, if, you, if you're looking for the alpha male smell, this one is that. Um, and I've smelled a lot of, you know, leathers that are very good and, you know, uh, some are elegant, some are, you know, strong. The Chanel's one. A leather is a little bit more um, soft, you know. Mona Dior, Kerr is in your face, is strong, and then Tom Ford is kind of in between. It has a sweet and then a, a a strong. This was this one is very strong at first, and then slightly sweetens up, and then just becomes um, you know just that 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 bodyguard type leather smell. So yeah, this one I definitely gotta get. Um, this one has uh, Neroli top notes, rosemary, bergamot, heart notes, the cinnamon, ylang-ylang, patchouli, honeysuckle, tuberose, geranium, and then base notes is musk, labdanum, castorium, leather, and fresh hay. Gotta get this one, guys. This is this. It's probably gonna be the first one I buy. That's that's how good it is. Depending on if, I, if it comes out, you know, during the the fall or the winter. If it comes out in the summer, I'll probably wait until that fall comes back. But I might even get it then. All right, next one up. All right, getting into it. This one is called I don't know Sagata. Shijetta, Sagata, one of the two. All right, so um, once again, this is a very, uh, it just, it, it's, it, it's for females. I don't know how else to put it, it's just for females. This is targeted to a woman and a, a it just reminds me of a, like a, a regal, uh, vibe I get from it some some type of important woman like the first lady would wear something like this very 
very floral um, and it actually has a floral note that I'm very intrigued with and that is Shimpeka and I usually like Shimpeka but when it's put with other floral notes it just becomes too much and I don't want to be you know mistaken for a female walking down the street you know because that's what I do if I smell this immediately I would turn my head and say wow who is that because I would think of a woman and I don't want no guy saying hey excuse me miss oh sorry my man I don't, I don't need that so yeah females check this one out you if you if you command attention and you you feel like you have that presence that just draws a, a man to you this one would be a definite buy for uh, that uh, confident but elegant female okay hood rats don't don't do it I know I should have said that but um still don't do it no not for you elegant women all right so that is my impression I can't say first because I had them for about a week maybe two weeks now I have them about two weeks and I just kind of wanted to go through them and kind of see which of the ones I like um, and that's it man that's what it, they are um, just a small little history behind it so you know where they come from the creator of this fragrance is also the creator of uh, Bodicea Victorious and uh, Aluminum or Aluminous I don't know how you say the other one but unfortunately he's not with either one of those companies anymore well I know he's not with Bodicea anymore I'm not sure what about al Aluminum if I'm wrong please correct me but he ventured out and done, did this by himself uh, and decided to create a, a new brand and this one is just not going to be in what I've heard not going to be just perfume it's going to be a luxury brand so I'm looking forward to seeing what other fragrances he's coming out with and what else he's going to do with the brand so yeah check it out man there's a lot of other people doing that you know the guy that did Natamasu he ventured out did another brand um, the guy that did uh, So Oud and Nezne, he's ventured out and has his uh, 777 brand. And um, even Zhezhov, he has a separate brand. Not sure if he's still affiliated with that, but um, uh, what's it? Zhezhov has uh, Suspero, Suspero, that fragrance. So a lot of people are doing that. So I'm excited to see what this one is. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you do value my opinion and you want to check them out, go to their website you know you know ask them to send you some samples hopefully they will they have a message board you can talk to them they also have a Facebook page check that page out too and um you know stay tuned I got some other fragrance samples coming out and also other fragrance reviews so I'm gonna put those up in the weeks to come and I uh, appreciate you guys watching alright so if you like this page or you like this video uh, please give me a thumbs up you know comment if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Also, subscribe to my Facebook page, which is um, uh, Rome 300, and my YouTube page, Rome 300, which is my comedy page. Until next time, I'll holla at y'all. And like I said, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. Peace.